I decided to refinish the outdoor table with a marine spar varnish. And this is Gleam from Total Boat. So I've sanded the top down. And one thing you need to know if you want a satin finish is you still need to build the coats up with gloss. Four to six coats are recommended. So if you want a satin finish, your first four coats would be gloss and then your final coat would be satin. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just gonna pour it into this bucket here and then roll it out with a mohair roller and then brush in the direction of the grain with a foam brush. I'll put this roller back in the bag, put a little painter's tape around it so it's sealed, and then put it in the freezer so I can put another coat on in the morning. Okay, now I've got four coats of the gloss finish on the tabletop. I applied the first coat in the morning, the second coat in the late afternoon, and then repeated the process the following day. Even though this finish dries relatively quickly, which is a good thing, within a half an hour the finish is dry to touch, so you really don't have to worry about insects or leaves falling in your finish. I just like a little bit more dry time. So now I've got four coats of the gloss finish on the table. I'm gonna sand this in the direction of the grain with 320 sandpaper, apply a coat of the satin finish, and I've decided to use six coats. So once that coat is dry, again, I'll sand it with 320 sandpaper and apply another coat of the satin. You can see how the finish is powdered up and that's a good thing, that's what you want to see. You want to see the powder, you don't want to see like gummies. Powder is always a good thing when you're sanding a finish. Sometimes it is a good idea to use a strainer just in case you have any particles in the finish. You'll use a lot less finish on your second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth coats because once the wood is sealed, it doesn't drink it up as much. Again, I'm just going to pour the finish on, remembering that I won't need as much finish because the wood has been sealed. In case you were wondering about the wood, the darker wood in the center is sapili and the lighter color wood on the outside edge is Red Grandis. I've been using Sapili for years. It's a really beautiful wood, very good wood for outside use, very stable wood. I started using Red Grandis about a year ago, and on the plus side, Red Grandis is sustainably harvested and less expensive than Sapili and some other woods. But on the negative side, it does check easy. It's just not that stable. Uh, it's not the prettiest wood, and now that I've had some experience with it and I've worked with it for a year or almost a year and a half, I probably won't be using it that much more in the future. It's the following day, and I let the coat that I applied last night dry overnight. I sanded it, and now it's ready for the sixth and final coat. So just to go over the steps one more time, four coats of gloss, sanding in between coats, then I applied a coat of satin last night, sanded it this morning. Now I'm gonna wipe away any of the dust and apply the sixth and final coat of satin finish. Now I'll pour this back into the can. And this finish is a good finish to use Biloxygen. This will keep your finish from skinning over and going bad while it's in storage. So that's a heavier argon gas that'll sit on top of the finish and preserve it. Okay, well, I applied that last coat of finish right around 11 o'clock this morning. 
it's now almost three and as you can see the finish is nice and dry and it's really nice to have a fast drying finish because I don't know if you can see it but there's already dust and debris on top of the table now if you were really concerned about getting anything in your finish and you're working outside you could always work under an easy up it's probably better to work early in the morning before the wind really kicks in and and gets things flying around and those are a few things to think of but it's really like a half an hour window get that finish down and within a half an hour it's going to be cured enough where it's not going to collect anything like insects or leaves that might fall into the finish now I wanted to make this video because the idea of building up the finish with gloss was a little counterintuitive to me. I wouldn't have thought of that uh, because with gloss you're always kind of thinking of adhesion, but that is the correct way to apply this finish. Apply the first four coats with gloss, sanding in between coats with 320 sandpaper, and then you can use the satin if you want a satin finish, or you could just use gloss. It's really up to you, but I like the satin finish, so that's what we did here. I guess that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.